Welcome back to another video, YouTube. Today's the day we get the one series back. Yo, yeah. Crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up a slitty wherever we flow. I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor. I stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier. Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to you. Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. You know my way. is back now the real work begins engine all in still got a shed load of work to do we've got no radiator and all the front panels gonna come off we've got to make sure everything fits right new intercooler going on uh, all the stuff on the engine um, has been sorted out so this vacuum pump was leaking before that's been sorted EGR's all been cleaned, intake manifold's been cleaned, oil's been changed, um, filter's been changed. Just down there, you can see the sneaky little hybrid turbo also been changed. Um, yeah, there's, there's, there's a ton of work gone into this and we're still nowhere near yet, but um, hopefully before show season comes, we'll be ready for Ready for full power, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it's looking at that point. Obviously, I have got the bumper and lights and everything to go back on, but I'm not going to bother touching anything like that until I know that everything inside of the front panel is um, fitted and can stay on. Engine-wise, it's more the electric side of things now. Um, gearbox has to be um, wired in. For the selector and everything else because obviously we're going from manual to um auto so come around this side as you can see the selector and everything's fitted um there's a wiring harness that traces from the plugs on the side of the selector up behind the um behind the dash and it's i think it's got to be linked in with the oh, it's got to be linked in with the um, the gearbox um, harness as well. And then I've got to look at also having the retrofit wiring for the paddles as I've put the paddles on now as well. So yeah, there's quite a few bits left to do, but we're one step closer. As you can see, in case you're wondering, for any who've not seen so far, the dash is the dash from a E90, E92. Um, I have had to do some customization of the door panels to make it work. Um, still got to finesse a few bits. But yeah, uh, the A pillars, obviously those have got to be adjusted accordingly. Um, I may well do the headline at some point so it all matches as well. But yeah, like I say, we're one step closer. Just to recap, really, some of the bits that I've done so far, or that we've done so far. Um, so, we, like I said, we've got the E90 dash. Um, the E90 center console will be going in once the wiring is done as well, which I've test fitted it all, it all fits okay. Um, we've had to customize the door trims accordingly to make the dash fit right. Um, exterior wise, I've wrapped the um, window trims because they were chrome or silver 
Uh, what else have we done? So I've got the wheels to go on it. You've seen the pictures of them. Um, back end, I do need to replace this spoiler because it's got a kink in it. Um, I didn't realize till I fitted it. Um, so it's just trying to lift up on one side. Um, upgraded the rear headlight, uh, headlights, rear tail lights for the LCI version. Um, Riga diffuser. Obviously the exhaust will be going on to complement that at some stage. Um, front bumper is just the standard M Sport EX2 front bumper. But I, I'll try and see if I can find a picture, insert a picture now. Um, that's got a front splitter on it, just to set it off a little bit different. Um, I will, or oh, I'm thinking at some point, I may well do the bonnet vents, a bit like my E92. Um, yet to decide, we've got the M3 mirror caps. Also toying with the idea of having the roof wrapped or painted in a, either a dark gray or black, maybe even carbon, I'm not sure yet. Um, the wheels are gonna be bronze, as you've seen in the pictures, uh, the car with the wheels on. These, I just swapped them over to move the car around so they don't get damaged. Um, anything that I've missed? There's probably loads that I've missed, but that's the basics of it. Yeah, the, the idea of the bonnet vents, because for anyone that doesn't know, they are actually functional. So I feel like I may well do the same on the 82 at some point. Um, yeah, what do you think? I feel like it will set the front end off nice. Especially once the bumper and lights are and everything are fitted. Rear end, oh, I forgot about this one. Rear end has been lowered. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like yet uh, as it has been lowered quite a bit. Um, but yeah, we'll see once the, uh, once the other wheels are run. I'll see where it sits and whether it needs raising slightly. Well, I've got adjusters as well, so it's an option. Front end needs to come down quite a bit. But again, it's one of them. I'm not gonna know until everything's back on the car. Pretty much it, guys. So just a little update. As I'm doing the jobs on the car, um, basically the front end jobs, um, Sorting out the radiator, the pipe work, the intercooler pipes, the intercooler itself, those kind of jobs. I will be trying to get as much footage as possible, talking through the process, etc. etc. But for now, that's that's about all I've got. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.